Your Ender 3 is capable of perfect prints. And in this video, I'm going to show you my personal Cura profiles. Profiles I use on a daily basis to get decent prints. This is Frankus with Fakus Fuse. Let's get started. Frankie Hover's world famous flying junkies and I have nothing but respect, nothing but respect for the man they call Angus over at Maker's Muse. The man is a pillar of the community and honestly I would absolutely hate to have him show up with his crew of cronies, break my legs, and take my printers. Look, that's... Okay, okay, so uh, recently Angus was printing on an Ender 3. I could see the printer struggling. I kind of cringed as he pulled a stringy, sloppy mess off the bed. I thought to myself, if Angus can't do it, no one can. I mean, look, he was plagued with so many of the same issues I went through. For me, it took a good week of trial and error to get this thing to print properly. I was having issues with stringing, extrusion, issues I didn't seem to have on a cheaper in-stone 3D printer. More on this later. Um, so, it's inconsistent. Uh, hugely inconsistent. The walls are just shite. And the top's actually a little bit under extruded, surprisingly. This prompted me to compare my settings between the two printers and create a sort of mashup of the two. Also keep in mind that Cura doesn't provide a profile for the Ender 3. Instead you're left with the CR10 profile, which for some reason doesn't play well on the Ender 3. Hey uh, Cura devs, if you're listening, hook us up with a profile already, please. <laughs> All right, let's get rocking. Our goal today is to get good prints with the Ender 3. For this, we will use Cura as our slicer. Open up Cura and jump over to your printer settings. Here you will find various tweaks that would help you tune your 3D prints. The first thing I did was try the built-in profile for the Creality CR10. While it did produce a print, it wasn't a good print. I scrapped the files and decided to print some old G-code files from an InStone branded version of Cura I had laying around. This is usually bundled when you purchase an InStone mini printer. It proved itself and brought me one step closer as I could clearly see my prints had improved. At this point I figured there had to be some settings I could copy over from the existing CR10 profile. I toyed around for a good week and I kind of applied what I had learned from, from other Ender owners. The following is what I would refer to as God settings for the Ender 3. I'm really enjoying my time here in 3D printing land. I'm not an expert, but I do hope this video helped you out. I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the bell for future updates. I'm going to show you a series of screenshots. Go ahead and pause your screen as they appear, or click the link below to download the screenshots yourself. Yeah, so big shout out to Angus over at Maker's Muse, man. Appreciate you hitting me back on the uh, email there and uh, having some communications. Communication is the key. It's one of the reasons I love the 3D print community. The network is wide open and there's so many people willing to help. Frankie Hubbard's world famous flying junkies. I'm out of here, people.